Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're gonna to be doing a coats video. I asked you guys on my Instagram, if you don't follow me over there, definitely be sure to because that's where I post a lot of things like this for insight on what types of videos you guys wanna see. But you guys did say, at least a majority of you guys said that you wanted to still see this video. So here I am. I know it is starting to warm up a little bit. So for me personally, I am a off season shopper. So I like to buy things when the seasons are starting to kind of shift and everything goes on sale. A lot of these items in this video are actually on sale currently. So I feel like it's perfect to prepare yourself for next winter or maybe get some pieces that you had your eye on, but you didn't want to spend like the full coin. You can definitely save some money. So if you guys are excited about this video, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, okay? If you don't already, I have been posting very consistently over there and I'm trying to keep it up all year, okay? We'll, we'll see. So yeah, we're gonna jump right into the video because I don't want this to be super duper long. So let's get into it. Okay, so here are all the coats that I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. I pretty much have one of every color. Some of them I'm still on the fence about and I'm not 100% sure if it's the coat for me, but we will see. So starting off, we have this one right here. And I think I might zoom out real quick so you guys can get a better view of these coats. Of course, I'll do a full body shot, but I do want to not have it like cut off so much. So just a second. Okay, so I zoomed out. I'm gonna be having the photos or any video clips on that side over there. I do have a little bit of space behind me, but I don't really wanna clutter up the screen. So I'm just gonna be having everything over there, just so you guys know. So starting off, we have this coat right here, which is from Nasty Gal, and it is like a brown faux leather trench coat. It's kind of like a, it kind of gives like a blazer vibe, but it's a coat and it is brown. It's like a light chocolate brown, which I really like. And it is really, really oversized. This is what the back looks like. There's a seam down the middle. And this I have in a size US 10. And as you can see, it is really big. It is a dad coat, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And typically dad coats are oversized hence the name they give like a very like slouchy type of fit i have another dad coat in this video which you'll see and this is one of the ones that i'm thinking about replacing i feel like this isn't necessarily the brown coat for me so for this one i think i want something with a little bit more shape possibly something with a belt or something just a little bit more shapely i like this but i feel like it's just too boxy for me personally but i did want to offer this as an option because i feel like a lot of people like these types of coats. It's full leather, it's very heavy, very warm, and you can layer with this piece because it's very roomy on the inside. So this is really nice. It does have, I don't know why these pockets are <laughs> tucked in like this, but the pockets are supposed to be like that. So yeah, it's a very roomy coat. Like I said, it's a dad coat. They do have this in black as well. But I got the brown one because I didn't have a brown coat one and I wanted to see how I liked this silhouette specifically on me. But like I said, I mean, if anything, I could get it taken in to kind of give you a little bit more shape if you want it to be more flattering. But it is a dad coat. Dad coats, like I said, are typically a lot bigger. So yeah, just so you know. So next up we have one of my favorites. This is from ASOS. This is a black faux leather 80s silhouette style type of coat. And it does have all of these buckles and it has the straps on the edges of the sleeve. It has a belt. It has everything I love in a coat. The one thing that drew me to this coat is the silhouette. It does have shoulder pads in it and it does, like I said, have that 80s type of vibe to it. So it's a really nice silhouette. I love a good shoulder pad. I love that like super structured look at the top. It just looks really good and well put together. I feel like these type of coats look really good with really anything underneath them. But this is in a size US 10, and I believe this is labeled as oversized, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but it is quite roomy, so I believe it is oversized. But I got a US 10. Anytime I want something to fit exactly the way I want it to oversized, I get a US 10. That's like the perfect middle ground for me. A US 8 is my normal size, and a US 10 gives me a little extra room, so I love getting my coats in a US 10. I feel like no matter where I get my coats from, if I get a US 10, it'll never fail me. So this right here, I love. You can wear a really cute like mini dress under here with some boots. You could wear some just faux leather on faux leather and do like an all black look, which would look really nice. You could do a pop of color. I love this coat. So if you are interested in anything in this video from ASOS specifically, I would definitely head over there. They literally have a sale every other day. like. Every other day, it's nuts. I'll literally buy something 
and then like a few hours later they'll have like a 25% off code 20% off code it's insane I will literally buy the item again just to get it on sale and then return the other one because that's just how petty I am sometimes when it comes to a sale sometimes it's worth it so next we have another black coat and this one I've had for a minute I've showed you guys this coat before but this is probably one of my favorite black coats I love this I love the silhouette the material is very very heavy this is from PLT and I have this in a US 10 of course and this is called the black premium maxi panel detail belted coat a lot okay but this is probably one of my favorite black coats it's never failed me I still have the tag on it even though I've worn this quite a few times but should take the tag off now just a second just a second there we go so this coat right here is always 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 a go-to it's a really nice silhouette it looks good with jeans and a tee it looks good with a dress especially like a bodycon or a sweater dress with some boots I love this so so much for this video I'm probably gonna style it with some denim or some jeans because that's typically what I wear when I wear this coat I love the way it looks it gives like a very like casual yet sophisticated elevated type of look because of the structure and the look of the coat it just elevates a look if you just did a black bodysuit some jeans and a black boot throw this coat on you're good to go if I could get this exact same coat same material same silhouette same exact coat in brown that would be perfect and I would literally not have to look for a brown coat ever again but until I do I'm gonna have to you know do some more looking because like I said this one I don't know we're not sure about her but if I could get this one in brown I would so I couldn't do this video without having some sort of red coat and Shein did their big one okay with this one I saw this and I was like "Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be really really good it kind of reminds me of this Topshop or ASOS black coat in red they didn't have it in stock so I was like dang if I would have gotten that one I would have been good on the red coats but then I ended up finding this one probably like a couple weeks ago honestly like a few weeks ago I want to say and this was pretty much the same exact vibes as that one probably like $30 cheaper as well and this is also on sale it's like a little sale it's not nothing crazy but it's definitely on sale right now too this I got in a size extra large because I wanted to make sure it had that fit you guys know sometimes Shein runs a little small and it's just not a lot of like room in a lot of their clothes so I got an extra large and it fits me I want to say it fits me pretty normal but with a little bit of extra room it's not like crazy big like some of the coats I'm going to show you in this video but I love this coat you guys I love it I'm obsessed with this it looks so good the quality is really 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 good okay this was probably like 60 bucks which is kind of a lot on Shein but typically I've noticed when something is a little bit pricier they probably put a little bit more effort into it so this is one of those pieces it's made very well the seams look really good it's not snagging or tearing or ripping it's got some weight to it it's a really nice coat it's very very long I'm five seven so for me I'm not gonna say that it's tall girl friendly I'm just gonna stop saying that altogether because every time I say that I get attacked okay you guys be coming after me about me not being tall technically I'm not the average height so I'm taller than the average height but I guess I'm not considered tall what do you got to be like five nine to be tall I don't know okay it's long okay it's long on me it's pretty much down to my ankles so if you're taller than me it's still gonna be a pretty long coat if you're shorter than me it's gonna be a very long coat so yeah just wanted to put that out there I'm just gonna stop saying tall girl friendly okay to ease some of y'all's mind okay so for the star of the show we have this zebra coat which I got from Nasty Gal. And this was probably one of the first coats that I got this year, I believe. I wanna say, yeah. This was one of the first ones I got like at the very, very tip of winter. And I have not worn it yet. I do not understand what's going on. I had so many outfits rotating in my mind with this coat, but I have not pulled her out yet. And I need to because obviously it's starting to warm up. So maybe she might go back into the archives until next winter, but I'm just so happy that I was able to get this. So this coat I got in a US 14 because I believe this is from Nasty Gal's Curve Collection. So I did get it in a bigger size because they didn't have a US 10 available. But I am so glad that I did because I am obsessed with how this looks. It has a very dramatic type of effect. I think this is already oversized. So getting a US 14 was a little risky. I was like, 
I'm going to literally be drowning in that. But I actually like the way it looks. It gives like a very dramatic, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it just looks really good. I could definitely like get it taken in maybe a little bit here and you know, kind of bring it in a little bit, but it's still a really nice coat. And this one does not have a belt at that. So I can't like cinch in the waist. I can't, you know, give it some more shape. So if anything, maybe I'll get it taken in a little bit, but I love the dramatic oversized effect. I feel like it's perfect for this type of coat because it's already a lot, but I want it to do even more. I love a good statement piece. This right here is definitely that. I love this coat so much, you guys, so freaking much. It has shoulder pads in it, so it has this really like dramatic, I'm obsessed. Okay, so next up we have another one of my favorites. This is from ASOS and it's from a brand called Reclaimed Vintage and it's one of my favorite brands on ASOS. Love their stuff, but this right here, okay? I saw this and I was like, hmm, I don't know. I, I liked it when I seen it in the photo, but I was just like, I feel like that's something I need to get because I have I have like these feelings when I'm looking at it. I'm in love, but I'm kind of like, it's nothing really special about it. It's just a like taupey, tan-ish colored coat. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it and we're gonna see how I feel about it. I got it, obsessed. Not to mention, I got it in a US 8 because I wanna say that this was labeled as oversized and I was like, hmm, they didn't have a 10 available. They had a US 6, I believe, a US 8. They had a lot of the smaller sizes available and I was like, let me just try out a US 8 so I don't miss out on this. I got the US 8, I'm obsessed. I love this, such great quality. I love the material, it's like a, kind of like a furry, wooly type of material i really don't know what this material is but it's so nice super soft it doesn't like shed or anything which is really nice and then it has like a shape to it so you probably can't really see it but you'll see it on maybe you can see it in the back no you can't see it at all but it does have a little bit of like a curve which i didn't notice in the photo but i noticed it when i put it on and i was like oh yeah oh yeah this is it it does not give drowning, which I really like. Like I said, I usually get a US 10, but this is a US 8 and I'm obsessed with how it fits. It looks really good. It looks like almost tailored in a way to fit me, which is very rare. Typically, you know, you gotta get something tailored to fit you, but this looks like it was made for me. So I'm just so happy that I was able to get this and I'm glad that I bit the bullet and did it because if I didn't, I mean, I guess I would have never known because I never got it, but I'm glad that I did because I love the color of this coat. Such a beautiful coat. Very, very long as well. And it's just a nice piece, y'all. I cannot wait to wear this. Like I said, when am I gonna wear any of this stuff? I don't know. Okay, so next up we have another coat from ASOS. And also, I said Nasty Gal has some of the best coats, but ASOS be having some, some hidden gems as well. But this right here is another dad coat. Like I said, this one right here, the brown faux leather one was a dad coat. This one is also a dad coat. As you can see, it still has that same like oversized blazer type of effect. And it is a pinstripe, which I really like. I don't have anything pinstripe. I think I have a pair of pinstripe pants or something, but I really don't have a lot of pinstripe. And I just thought that this was a nice coat, okay? This is a really cool coat too. It's like very like chill, relaxed. I feel like if you had on like some sweats and a tee and some sneakers, and you threw this on, you look like you bought your business. Okay, even though this is like a real chill, nothing too crazy, it's literally just a coat. It looks really good with like super basic pieces, if that makes sense. This will look really good with a graphic tee, some jeans, heels, shorts, a dress. Literally, you can dress it up or down, just like anything in this video, really. This right here is so nice. I'm pretty sure this is on sale right now as well. I didn't get it on sale because I've had this for about a month now, but I'm pretty sure this is on sale right now. So yeah, I got this in a US 10 and it is labeled as oversized. This tag right here is a tag that you're not supposed to remove unless you want to keep it. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that because we're gonna be keeping her. Love this to death. Okay, so next up we have another one that I'm on the fence about. I feel like I could find a better alternative to this one, just like the first one I showed you. But this is from ASOS and it's by the brand pull and bear and it's a really nice coat but i don't know if this shade of green is the shade of green that i'm looking for necessarily i want 
more of a like rich olive green. I can't really explain it. I'll pop up some photos if I could find something. But this right here is a really nice coat. But I don't know, it's not that long. I love me a good lengthy coat. This pretty much goes a little bit past my knees, which is fine, but I want something like super long and exaggerated, like a lot of the coats you've seen already. Nonetheless, this is still a really nice coat. I got it in a size extra large, which is also insane because this is an extra large and this is how big it is. It gives medium low key. When I put it on, you guys will see it's nice. But like I said, it's pretty small for it to be an extra large, first of all. And I don't know, the color's kind of washed out. I don't know what it's looking like on camera, but in person, it's very muted, which isn't a bad thing, but I would like for something to be a little bit more rich in color. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys this in case anyone was interested, but I'm thinking this one is definitely gonna be going back to Miss ASOS. All right, so I have showed you guys this coat a million times, but because this is a strictly coat video, I had to feature it in this video. Plus, I didn't have any denim coats in this video, so I was like, let me just put her in there again, just so I could let you guys know how much I love this. But the point of this coat in this video is to get a denim coat. I feel like everyone needs a denim coat, whether it's a light wash, a dark wash, medium wash, all of them, whatever. You need a denim coat. This one right here, stunning. I got this in a US 8 because I believe at the time that was the only size they had available that I could work with. Like I said, I always get a US 10, but I don't think they had one. And just like this one right here, I took a chance on this one with a US 8 and I'm obsessed. I do sometimes wish it was a little bit more roomy. It kind of gives like a slim type of feel to it. So really all I could get away with wearing underneath this is not like a thick sweater, maybe like a long sleeve bodysuit, which is fine. But I do wish sometimes this had a little bit more room and it was a little bit longer because this one isn't that long either. But the structure, the quality, everything else about this, obsessed. It does not have shoulder pads in it, but one of the things I like about it is the way that they sewed this and made this is very stiff at the shoulders. So it gives a structured look, but it does not have shoulder pads in it. I don't know if that makes any sense. It is a really, really pretty coat. Very nice wash. I have yet to wear it because I don't know. This is one of those coats where I feel like you could literally just wear the coat as like a dress. You could wear this as is, or you could obviously wear something underneath it, but I haven't decided how I want to break her out yet. I feel like this is something I want to start off wearing it as a dress, but I don't know. Still on the fence about that. I guess I'll just have to wait until next year because it is warming up pretty quickly. So we're going to keep her in the closet for a little bit longer until next winter and maybe I'll come up with a fit by then. Hopefully I do, but this is a must have. Maybe not this one specifically, because like I said, I can't find this one, but a denim coat is a necessary, necessary purchase for your coat collection. You need a denim coat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below your favorite coats in today's video. I'm gonna have to say it's between Miss Zebra and the top coat and even the red Shein coat eats. Okay, it's gonna be between those three. I can't really decide. But those are my top three for this video. So let me know down below which is your favorite. Like I said in the beginning, follow your girl on Instagram so you can see me style these pieces and then some in the future. And also for other content as well. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.